everybody, Derek Anderson, in the DA, and man, when this show first came out, all right, this woke garbage Willow show, you guys know all about it, I discussed it last year, when this thing first came out, one of the feelings that I had besides just like disgust that they completely destroyed another Lucasfilm property, it's like Lucasfilm can't figure out how to make good Lucasfilm content anymore, the other feeling that I had was a feeling of remorse for old uh, Warwick Davis, you know? I felt bad for him because I was like, man, this cat probably been waiting on this opportunity his entire life, you know? Like, Willow came out, and he, remember, he was the title star, and I think he was only like 17 years old when this thing came out, so now you fast forward like almost 40 years later, and it's like, come on, man, this is my one chance. I get to be the star of a show, have my own show, you know, named after my title character. This is awesome. I can't wait for it, and this thing was just hot garbage, all right? I felt bad for him of being in this hot garbage show, but then as the series progressed, it was like, wait a minute, this dude is just phoning in his performance. Like, he could care less. He was acting like he didn't want to even be on set. If you go back, well, you can't go back now and watch it because it's been pulled from Disney+, Plus. but I remember talking about that in a few of my reviews. It's like, this, this dude is just phoning in his performance. He could care less, all right? He's here for the paycheck, you know? But now he's in Twitter, okay? He made some news because he was on Twitter uh, saying that it's embarrassing, right? That it got pulled off. You can see on this article, CBR, uh, Ward Davis says it's embarrassing that the Willow series was pulled from Disney+. Plus. Uh, Warwick, you embarrassed for the wrong reason, brother, okay? You are embarrassed because it was pulled off. You should be embarrassed to even be associated with this trash. You should be like, oh my God, man, I gotta show my face in public with this crap. Hey, can y'all, like, go back and do some deep fake? You know, just come put, put somebody else's name on there, okay? Put somebody else's face on my face. Get me out of this thing, all right? That's how you should feel about it. But, no, he's pissed off because, well, he has to answer to some of the fans that are asking him questions. Let's go ahead and check this article out. The actor Warren Davis admits he gets embarrassed when people ask him what happened to the Willow series on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be embarrassed at all. I'd be embarrassed to be associated with it at all. Uh, premiering on Disney+, Plus last year, Willow served as a continuation of the original feature film released in 88. That's right, 88, not 87. Uh, in March of this year, it was reported that the show had been canceled after one season. Two months later, the show's first and only season was also scrubbed completely from Disney+, Plus, leaving fans without a legal way of watching the episode. Uh, taking the ex, uh, Davis, who plays the titular character in the original film and the Willow ser sequel series, expressed his frustration over the show's unavailability. So here's the tweet right here. Uh, this is what he said. I meet lovely people on a daily basis who are fans of Willow. <coughs> Bullshit. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, who are the reason the Disney Plus series was made? Uh, please tell me, Walt Disney Company. What do I say to these subscribers when they ask why they can't watch the series anymore? Hashtag embarrassing. Uh, what do you tell them? You tell them the truth. Where uh, work? Tell him the truth. I said it was a garbage series. Nobody watched it. All right. It didn't have any fans and it costs too much for Disney plus to even have it on the, on the, on the streaming service. It's just too much money. You know, it brings them nothing to have this thing sitting in there, but it costs them money to leave it sitting in this server. So pull it out, <laughs> get it off of there. All right. And put something else in its place or not. It doesn't matter because nobody was watching it anyway. So yeah, you, the five people that walked up to you in person, all right, the lovely five that walked up to you and said, hey, what's going on with your show? How come it's not on Disney Plus? Yeah, we didn't get enough people watching it. That's it. That's the answer. Not enough people watched it. It cost too much money for Disney to keep it on the platform, so they yanked it. Again, another embarrassment for Disney. That's the sad part, man, is that Disney is producing content that nobody wants to watch to the point that they got to yank it off the platform. You start thinking, like, how many more of these trash shows are they going to eventually just like, yeah, let's just pull this off, all right? You know, it's like a Marvel stuff. I'm thinking, like, there's some Marvel shows that I guarantee you are probably not getting watched anymore. And people are like, you know what? Mm, Disney's going to be like, yeah, just, just come on off the platform now, okay? It's over. Yeah, let's pull it off. Nobody's checking for this, all right? So, yeah, sorry, Warwick, that nobody was watching it. Now, you read some of the comments. And, of course, you got Disparu. Uh, Willow not getting a second series is the greatest travesty of television. Best show of 2022. Even the behind-the-scenes video was hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's basically mad. That's who's mad about it. The YouTubers that can't make content anymore off of this trash, okay? Yeah, you know he was waiting on the season two. Disparu was like, man, where my season two? Okay, he probably wanted season two of this Robin Hood. By the way, y'all should check his stuff out because he is hilarious.
And this guy, uh, author J.A. Douglas, tell them you're sorry for their lack of taste. 100%, man. Bro, nobody's walking up to you saying, where's Willow? Oh, my God, we can't watch Willow no more. Nobody, okay? The five dudes that walked up to him just said, yeah, um, it got pulled. Y'all wasn't watching it. Five people ain't enough to keep something else on Disney+, Plus, so they had to take it off. All right, I'm sorry about that. You say, I'm sorry, but Disney was more interested in filling Disney Plus with literally anything they had the rights to and virtue signaling than they were in making good content that respected and lived up to the original movie. A thousand percent, man. That's exactly what it was, man. Because look, I thought, this is what I thought Willow was going to be. I thought Willow would be like that entry level um, high fantasy for kids, you know? Like, yeah, we got high fantasy shows that came out last year. You had Rings of Power, which was also garbage, but that might be like a little too highbrow for some of the youngsters. All right. So then, oh, we had, oh, what else? House of the Dragon. Again, might have been too up there. But now you got something grounded. You know, again, that's kind of what Willow was, the original movie. It was like a kid's film. It was fun. And it was, you know, it's like it was for kids of that age, you know, you know, under preteen. And you could introduce them to the world of wizards and high magic and imagination and dragons and beasts and everything. But it's in a more like family friendly setting, right? You know, something for the youngsters to really dig into. I thought that's what Willow would be aiming towards. That's what I would have done. But I still would have made it full of heart and emotion and wholesome and all of that. I would have done all of that with Willow. Instead of making it woke garbage, you know, like, oh, we got to dive into the LGBTQ stuff. And it's like, nobody's here for that. Here we go with Mr. Humpty MC. Uh, Willow is one of my favorite movies from my childhood. I was extremely excited when a series was announced, even though things I love have been murdered by being modernized. I got halfway through that series. It was horrendous. I don't blame actors or crew. I blame the writers. Well, I blame everybody, okay? I blame, uh, especially because... Ward Davis should have read that script and said, well, I'm not doing this. If this is what you're doing, I'm not doing it, okay? I'm good. No, my reputation and everything I care about means a hell of a lot more than what y'all got on this script. Nope, I'm not doing it. Y'all can go ahead and rewrite this right now. But he was cool with it, all right? So because the actors are cool with it, yeah, I blame the actors as well as the crew and the writers and everybody. I blame them all, all right? Stop signing up for bullshit. Hey, no, nah, we're not doing this. This guy, uh, dude, I love your acting, but what Disney made felt nothing like Willow. It wasn't. It was a complete bastardization of Willow. Uh, back to the article, uh, Willow had been one of the many shows that was simultaneously removed from Disney+, Plus, a casualty of the streamer's efforts to reduce streaming costs. At the time, series writer John Bickerstaff spoke out about the move, describing the purge as absolutely cruel, as the show didn't even have six months to gain its footing on the streaming platform. Nobody was watching this, okay? Yeah, it wasn't cruel at all, all right? It was going to take a whole hell of a lot longer than six months. It probably never was going to gain its footing, all right? The show was hot garbage. Remember I did the videos talking about how there was a review boosting campaign for Willow? Okay, not review bombing, review boosting. There were people literally on Twitter, on X. I can't find any of those tweets now. I already know. But there was a huge review boosting uh, um, like movement that everybody was trying to boost this thing's scores up. I'll link the video above because I still have it. And I went through that information at the time. People were desperate to get out there and say, oh, no, no, no. And make sure this thing gets that nice little bucket of popcorn. All right. Because everybody else. Let's look at it. Where is it at right now? As a matter of fact. Yeah. Sitting at 65% on Rotten Tomatoes. This thing was nowhere near 65%. It was down into the 20s, into the 30s, and then all of a sudden, people just came alive and started boosting the reviews up. Yeah, that's why, again, I always say when it comes to review bombing, okay, I said, hey, man, you know what? They do it, too. They do it, too. That's why I don't trip about it, okay? Do what you got to do. Voice your displeasure any way you want to. So, you know, all of these cats that's crying about review bombing, too bad. Look what that. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Let's look at some of this. Yeah, look, five star. They still doing it. Five stars, five star, five star, five. There's no way in hell this thing is a five star show. No way. All right. Five star, five star. And it's always these empty love the show praying for season two. It's always stuff like that. These cats are full of it. Five star. No, I'll be honest and give it a four star. It's not even a four star. All right. This trap was a hat like this. A half star. It was hot garbage. Lesbians. A Disney actually wasted money filming a show about lesbians. Worst show ever made. Yeah, 
That was the problem, man. Pushing again, social agendas, current day messages, you know, progressivism, you know, social activism, LGBTQ. We got to put all of that stuff in what should be just a simple kid's tale. All right. Fun for all ages. Parents across the board can just say, hey, let's sit down and watch Willow. There was no reason to put any of that crap in there. But that's what they did. And they didn't. And they, on top of that, they told a trash story. You know, Willow was a simple idea. Again, it's something for kids. As a matter of fact, let me show you guys again what George uh, Lucas said about the original Willow. Willow is about commitment. It's about uh, compassion. It's about taking responsibility for what goes on in the world. And it's about a every man who comes up against extraordinary circumstances. Did you hear anything in there about lesbian relationships? You know, a lesbian couple, nothing about that, right? Commitment, compassion, what was it, responsibility? That's it. That's what Willow was about. So, Warwick, when you're embarrassed, be embarrassed that you guys couldn't stick with George Lucas's original vision. That's what you should be embarrassed about. But like I said, this cat just, he just phoned in his performance, all right? His performance was just like a wooden block. You know, that's really what it was. So this guy, he probably don't care. He was there to collect a check, and now he's just feeling embarrassed. Oh, shoot, I don't know what to tell people when they ask me. Just, again, tell them the truth, all right? Yeah, we made woke garbage, and nobody watched it. Disney pulled the plug. The end, all right? There's nothing else to discuss, all right? That's it. But anyway, you guys let me know what you think. Are you mad that they pulled Willow off of Disney Plus, all right? Where you're crying in your cereal. Oh, boy, we wish we could watch Willow some more. Nobody was, okay? The people that's mad about it ain't tripping, all right? But you guys let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.